I just want to kind of take a minute here, and I've been playing with some stuff. Uh, like I said, you know, I get rid of all of my equipment every year, and that's not just traps. It's uh, that is uh, fur handling stuff too, you know, because I try to whenever I give these things away or sell them extremely cheap to someone, I try to, you know, set them up and get them going where they can just run straight into the trap and fur handling and get a good taste of it. And, you know, I don't want them to fail immediately and be, you know, I want them to be a little bit successful, you know, see some success from it and be able to go all the way through. So this year I have decided I'd try to figure out a better, better, cheaper, I wouldn't say it's better, just a cheaper way to build some uh, fur stretchers. Um, and I'd like to share with you how I kind of put everything up. Um, so, uh, you know, a lot of people don't have shops and tools and stuff like I do and uh, all that land and storage that they need. So, uh, one of the things that I do is I I put all my muskrats up on wire and cardboard. That's what I use. I just use a wire stretcher and trace it out on cardboard and it works great. Um, you know, use them for a while, throw them in a wood stove and burn them. If they get where they won't hold push pins or clothes pins or anything like that. Uh, they work good. You just fold them in half whenever you go to pull the muskrat off and it's good. Uh, beaver, it's hard to, you know, you can, beaver, you can hoop beaver. Uh, I use I'll be honest, I use plywood for my beavers. Uh, I just, you know, it's hard to handle a beaver. Um, wire stretchers for raccoons and uh, wire for coyotes as well. But uh, I've been making some new ones and I'll, I'm hectic to show it because I know I'm going to get some criticism on it. But, uh, you know, I like to share my frugal ideas with you guys on this kind of stuff because there's not a lot of money in the fur market and you know there's other hobbies that that pay a little better <laughs> but if you enjoy it that's what it's all about uh so i'll show you that all right so this is uh, i bought a sheet of i think it's r3 half inch foam board from lowe's uh it was 12 dollars so uh what i did was pretty much i just you know, traced out my board on it, put my sizes on it, and uh, I took a, a uh, I guess you would call it, uh, for simpler terms, uh, most people use a uh, wood rasp, uh, but I don't have a wood rasp, I have a hoof rasp for shoeing horses, <laughs> and I have hoof nippers, as you guys probably already picked up on that, my, my snare building, my cable cutters are a pair of cheap hoof nippers, you know, just for training horses, but that's a whole nother ball game. Uh, so yeah, uh, pretty much trace these out, uh, rasp the edges, you know, just like you would do a wood stretcher. But on the back side, what I have done is, I, this is a shorter uh, fence post, a fiberglass fence post with some tractor supply. It's 36 inches or a little over that, I guess it is, because these are four foot. But, uh, Usually it's better to do, you know, a full 48, but I just, this one was cut off for some reason. I think it broke it off in the ground. Um, so I, essentially I just took a razor knife and cut this slot in the middle for this, this uh, fence post to flush. You want to flush. Cut that out. Uh, and I used a, uh, used a hoof knife to pair this out pair this slide out all the way down through here but there you know you can use a razor knife and cut it out just be careful you don't break it in half then i put some hot glue in there stuck this fence post in there and hot glued around it down both sides and uh i'll be honest this is i mean this is pr pretty pretty uh stiff actually this one has a quarter inch driveway marker in it and it's relatively stiff too that was a work, I believe. And they're cheap. I make impossible ones too, just just because. I think those will work pretty good. Uh, we'll give them a shot. Uh, we still have you know the wire stretchers and a few wood stretchers laying around, but 
Yeah, if you're looking for a cheap way, you can give it a shot and we'll see how it works.